Hi everyone, once again welcome to my channel and today we are solving a very important interview problem max area of island. As you can see here the clearly the like and dislike ratio. This problem is very likeable as this problem is get heard in many top interview companies like this. You can see in last 6 month itself in Facebook 18 times, Google 16 times, Amazon 14 times, Microsoft 8 times. So all the top companies ask this problem either in the telephonic interview round or the first or second interview coding interview round. So basically in this problem given a matrix of 0 and 1 where 0 represent the water and 1 represent the land and we need to find out the area of the largest island among the number of different islands. So we also solve the different problems like count the number of island or the perimeter of the island. So here this these like one this orange marks are the different different island isolated to each other and like this has area one this one has four this five this four and this one is six and this one is five so we have total six island and this the biggest one is this orange one and it ha its area is six so we need to return the answer six so how to solve this problem so before jumping on the solution let's understand another example that is like similar just i added there is no need like if you understand from the first example here so what we are doing here like this is a one uh, island with area 3 this is another island with area 2 this is another island so the ones are connected in four direction not the eight direction so four direction like left right top bottom and this is another island with area 2 this is another island with area 2 and this uh, two are islands are with area 1 so we have this area this island with the maximum area which is 3 and we need to return the 3 so how to solve this kind of problem so this kind of problem can we solve any of the traversal like bfs or the dfs in the matrix or the graph terminology so for solving this first we need to iterate over each cell uh, if it is one if we encounter an island like land of the area like if it is one then what we will do we can start applying dfs or the vfs from this and mark all the one which are directly connected in four direction to this island and then keep doing it uh, and mark it and update this either zero or some other variable so that we can't re encounter once we done so, and we will get the count how many ones we encountered over here so we will note them and create another variable which is let's say area variable and that we initialize from zero and we will keep update this why every time when we found the one island and then we will update so first it will become three then every time it will be three like all of this will be three and we also uh, like call this dfs or vfs method for this so this is the idea behind so how you will apply dfs vfs just you go with the normal standard like uh, in each like if you got any coordinate x y x y where the land is there then we will uh go to the other dot like first validate whether it is in the grid so you can validate like x should be greater than or equals to zero and less than or equals less than m the m is a number of rows and y greater than equals to zero and less than n and then grid should has the valid grid x y value and the grid x y should be one though so then only we will continue and uh, once we know this is a, a, a like a valid coordinate we will update our uh, area local area and then call the recursively in four direction with like four direction from x comma y let me represent it like x comma y we are on this coordinate so we can go here which is and here and here and here so the coordinate of this point is x plus 1 and y similarly coordinate of this point is x comma y plus 1 and this place is x minus 1 x minus 1 comma y and this one is x comma y minus 1 so these are the uh, four directly like four direction networks we will call them and then keep doing it once we get we will terminate and this is how the idea you can try the code yourself so for the coding part it is very straightforward so let me pull out the dfs code as i already submitted this uh, DFS approach so this is very straightforward 
can implement let me just little bit move this left so here as we define the area variable then we're trading through all the cells in the grid and whenever we find the grid is island then we will call the dfs from here uh, by considering this as the x comma y coordinate and uh, then we apply dfs so for dfs we are checking whether it is valid coordinate or not of not if it is out of uh, grid then we return zero and if it is already if it is not the land then we return zero otherwise we will mark like you can mark with anything other than one like minus one or zero the reason being here marking as minus one like if you somebody asks like you have as we are using reusing the grid matrix as the visited matrix instead of separate visited matrix so you can re uh, change these values from minus one to one if somebody asks like do not modify input or like return you are using somewhere else the input but for this kind of problem it doesn't matter and this is what we are calling one directional four directional and adding one so once we get the local area we will update the area with the maximum of this and in the end we return so this is the working code now how to write the bfs code so for bfs it is also very straightforward let's write the bfs code and it will also return same and let's copy paste basically this and we just rename it and this is what the bfs now in bfs what we need to do let's first define the direction vector of 2d array direction that will be new indent and a direction like um, first we will go 1 then 0 then second direction vector is 0 comma 1 third is uh, minus 1 comma 0 and the fourth is 0 comma uh, 0 comma minus 1 so that is our direction vector. now for applying vfs we need a q so we will use q here so q and we store into a pair like x y coordinate and that is that is called q and it is initialized from linked list so you can initialize the q in your language like c or python based on your language now what we need to do we will offer uh, the uh, current coordinate new int x comma y so this x comma y to our q and also mark visited by updating grid x comma y like minus 1 or 0 anything other than 1 so once it done we will initialize while q size is greater than while there is an element in the queue then keep running it as is very standard and also we need to count how many uh, ones we are encounter here so that is our let's say count once so which is initialized from 0 now what we need to do we will fetch the pair int x y the coordinates from the queue q dot pole and now we need to count like update count plus plus and after that we iterate in four direction like int array d in direction vector direction now what we need to up create our nx so nx is next x so that is x y 0 which is x coordinate and then d 0 is the uh, direction in that direction we need to go similarly int n y next y coordinate is x y in one y coordinate plus d 1 in the direction y we need to go now we will validate if this is valid so here we just need to if uh, this nx should be greater than equals to 0 and uh, and y, nx is less than the grid dot uh, length and uh, and similarly n y greater than equals to 0 and uh, n y is less than a grid like number of columns which is grid 0 dot length so once it's done now we will also check and the value in that grid coordinate grid n x and y so this is an x and y should be one if it is one then only goes to one yeah so if it is valid coordinate and y is one then what we need to do we need to uh, offer this new coordinate new coordinate so q dot offer new int an x and y into the q as well as we need to be mark visited an x and y as minus 1 so once is done in the end we will return the 
area or the number of buns in that islands and we here updating with the maximum so let's compile this code and see if it is working so it is working let's submit this code so this is got accepted and now what is the time complexity so as you can see when we visit this cell we are iterating o of n square like if all zero this loop just run and there is nothing update but in case of island is also there then in this marking like in both the method dfs and bfs we are just going through each and every cell at max once so the time complexity of this solution is uh, o of m into n where m cross n is the size of matrix so if you like this solution hit the like button and there are other problems you can see the related problems related pro similar questions you can apply solve this problem i have already video on these two problems so you can check out if you stuck in that and let me know in comment section how do you like this solution thanks for watching